Hi, welcome to this video demonstration about how to configure CI types as services to enhance the service monitoring capabilities. Before getting into the details, let us understand the need to configure different CI types as services. Consider a massive service model representing a hospital management system. This service model contains variety of CI types such as organization, service offering, application service, database, business services, etc. Prior to TrueSite Operations Management 11.0 version, a service manager could monitor only the services of business service CI type from the TrueSite console. To get the holistic service monitoring view, you may want to monitor these different CI types as services on the TrueSight console. Let us understand the procedure to configure CI types as services. The prerequisites are Ensure that you have solution administrator level access. To configure a predefined CI type as a service, ensure that the TrueSight infrastructure management is registered as a component with the TrueSight presentation server. To configure a user-defined CI type as a service, ensure that the BMC Atrium CMDB server is integrated with the TrueSight infrastructure management, which in turn is registered as a component with the TrueSight presentation server. Log on to the TrueSight console and navigate to Monitoring Services. On the Services page, Click the action menu and select configure CI types. A list of CI types is displayed. As you can see, business service CI type is selected by default. Now let us configure some of these CI types as services by selecting the relevant checkboxes and saving the configuration. You can select a maximum of 20 CI types. Once you save the configuration, these configured service types appear in the quick filters area of the services page. To monitor these services, select the relevant service type filters so that they are listed on the services page. For example, database application and service offering service types are selected in the quick filters area so that they get listed on the services page to monitor. The number of tabs that appear in the quick filters area depends on the number of CIs that are configured as services. If you have not configured any CI types as services, then the following 5 filtering options are displayed by default. They are all services, top level services, business services, technical services and unknown services. All services filter is selected by default. Top level services filtering option this all the root node services that do not have any parent nodes. For example, the PITS medical service is of business service CI type that is also a top level service and doesn't have any parent nodes. Similarly, a service of CI type service offering is a top level service and doesn't have any parent nodes. Once these CI types are configured as services and can be monitored on the services page, you can click an individual service to view its details. Note these points. When you select different CI types to configure as services, the changes are applied to all the users. These changes persist between user sessions. When you select Configure CI Types as Services option on the Services page, by default, it displays 17 predefined CI types. If you want to configure additional CI types as services, run the TSSH command. The next section shows you how to run TSSH command to configure additional CI types as services. When you click Configure CI Types from the action menu of the Services page, only 17 predefined CI types are displayed by default. If you want, Additional predefined or user defined CI types available in the infrastructure management server to get listed here, you must run tssh command to add them. Log on to the computer where the presentation server is installed and navigate to the bin directory location. Run the tssh properties set command from the command prompt.
run the tssh properties reload command to reflect the updated changes to ensure that the newly configured ci types appear in the list log on to the true site console and select monitoring services on the services page click the action menu and select configure ci types you can see the newly added ci types lan van and collection in the select ci types to configure as services dialog box Congratulations you have learned how to configure ci types as services and advantages of configuring different ci types as services for more information see the online documentation portal at docs.bmc.com thanks for watching